Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. Today we've got a package from Going Gear EDC Club. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. All right, so we're back with Going Gear EDC Club. And as always, if you are interested in this particular service and just want to check them out, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video. They are a monthly service and they have two boxes for you to choose from. They have a standard and a premium. And I believe we get the premium, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully, they'll have something in here that'll tell us. And I'm trying not to cut into the... They did this to me, they did this to me last time. They put the package inside of a post office mailer, which is kind of odd, but it's okay. So yeah, there's nothing else in here. Maybe they were worried about this coming open during shipping, you know, and this was just a way to protect it. And I'm all for that. You know, I'm all for my package, uh, the package arriving in good condition and, and in one piece. So yes, I'm all for that. Oh man, this is this is a lot of man. This is this is like security we got going on here. Oh, what is this? All right, boy, this is a lot of stuff packed in here. Okay, so this is the there's no inner package, and thankfully this just ripped open. Okay. Uh, I don't see, oh, there's, okay, we got our, our stuff here, so I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll just take all this stuff out, and we'll set it up here, and we'll file that, and we'll file this too. Okay, so this is all of our stuff, which I'm trying not to look too hardly, too hard at, until we can check out our little card here or our printed out letter from Going Gear EDC Club, the best way to keep your everyday carry up to date. This is May 2023. Okay, they have the standard and the premium box laid out. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we got the premium box and they do have some prices for us. So, we got some prices on here, so that's, that's awesome to see. Okay, so let's just check out the first thing here. Looks like we got us a a cool going gear, like a, a wood coaster almost. I'm gonna say it's a coaster, but but maybe it has some other wacky meaning here. Let's see. It does. It's not a coaster. It's a wood tray because it does have a depression. Okay. Can I edit that out? You guys didn't hear that. I didn't say that this was a coaster. It's just a little tray. It's a five by five wooden tray. It's, uh, let's see, they were engraved locally in Woodstock, Georgia. Okay, that's cool. They make an ideal landing spot for your everyday carry essentials. Crafted with care, each tray showcases its own unique and distinct appearance, adding a touch of natural beauty. Okay, okay, so yeah. Let's see, hopefully you guys can see the detail in there. It's, it's, it's a pretty, it's, you know, it's, I like it. The wood's very pretty. Yeah, I like it. Okay. So I guess the point is, if you you know if you come into your to your house or whatever, we have a little a little hanging thing where you can put your keys and all that. But you know, if you had a mantle, you know, like if you come in, like if you live in an apartment or whatever, maybe you have a mantle, you can put this up there, throw your throw your EDC, your keys and all this stuff on it. So yeah, okay, we'll dig that. And we got a sticker. We got a Going Gear Outdoor Adventure sticker, which I think this is kind of I think Going Gear needs to maybe step their sticker game up because I think I've I think I've got this sticker before. Boy, you know nothing nothing makes me happier than derailing these videos with some sticker looking with my backs turned to you that y'all don't care about. Okay, I, I do have so I do have one of these already. So I've just got a duplicate of that. But they have in the past, they've sent this sticker, the going gear. And then they sent this one. So, uh, you know, they do have some, some variety going on. Just not that much. Nothing cool like the, nothing cool like the taco 
the tactical taco dude, man. That's the, you know, yeah. So, yeah. I'm starting to judge these boxes by how cool their stickers are. I don't know. Maybe that's... I don't, I don't think I should be doing that, but... It's fun. So, yeah. That's, that's how I get down. Okay, so we got something from a company called Frontline Medical Defense, which is always good to have. This is a Frontline Medical Defense First Aid Kit. This is an Adventure Mini EDC, okay? Uh, right off, it's, it's not mini because it does still take up, you know, a good little amount of space. I do like the fact that it's vacuum sealed. That, that's, that's really, really good. And it's vacuum sealed in a like a Ziploc type bag where you've got Ziploc going here and you do have some tear notches up here. So that's that's really cool because you can tear the notches to open it up and then you can reseal it. So that, that's really nice. Okay, the contents of this little kit. We have two sterile 2 by 2s one sterile 4 by 4 one pair of nitrile gloves, large, two inch, uh, one 2-inch conforming gauze, one FMD basic uh, band-aid pack, two sting swabs, two alcohol prep pads, one CPR mask. That's, okay, that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, it says one thermometer. Word, there's a thermometer in here? You know, I'm wondering if it's one of those little reactive strips, which I'm pretty sure that's probably what it is. It's probably one of those, like, reactive strips. And it says one FMD basic med. Okay, I don't know what that is. But if you do want to check them out, they do have a little scammy QR code on here, which is very, very small. And they have a website at FrontlineMedicalDefense.com if you want to go check them out. So this is a, this is a really cool idea, you know, to give you this and, and vacuum seal it, you know. That's really cool because if you do throw this in a bag, at least you know the contents are somewhat protected from humidity and moisture and, and all that kind of stuff. So this is a really good idea. Plus, you know, if you're, you know, if we're all running from from zombies or whatever and your pack gets wet, you know, your first aid stuff's still going to stay good. All right, so that's cool. Okay, and they gave us a card. <clears throat> Let's see. They gave us a, like a business card from Frontline Medical Defense, Equipment, Education, and Training. Apparently, Dave Miller is the owner-operator. Yeah, I know Dave. Yeah, Dave's a good guy. He likes medical stuff. I don't really know Dave. But his card is, is, is really neat because on the back, like that's, that's a business card that you would just give any old random person, but on the back, it's got a little depiction there of a, of a dude who's got all kind of issues, and it tells you where the tourniquet the limb's at. It tells you where to pack the junctions at, and it tells you where to seal the box. That's, that's really cool. So if you got absolutely no idea what you're doing, at least you will get somewhere in the correct ballpark of what you need to be doing. So, not bad. So yeah, that's, that's, that's nice. I like stuff like that. It's really cool. Okay, so already we're doing pretty good, man. We got a cool, a cool tray that, you know, uh, nobody, nobody is ever going to confuse this for a coaster. So yeah. So we got a cool little gear tray. Looks cool. And we got a little first aid kit, man. All right. So we're doing really good. All right, let's check this out because I saw Ace Beam on this, and I like Ace Beam stuff. So let's see. Oh, man, I just, how did I cut that all, man? How did I do that? Hope everybody's having a good weekend, too. Uh, I'm, I'm filming this Saturday. No, I'm filming this Sunday. Yeah, today's Sunday. Yeah, Sunday, the, the 28th of May. Tomorrow is Memorial Day. And like I said, come back to the video tomorrow. I'm going to upload one or two. I may upload two videos today, and I'll probably do one or two videos tomorrow. So come back and uh, bring your drink, because we're going we're gonna, to uh, we're gonna talk about Memorial Day very briefly. So I hope you join, hope you join me for that. All right, so we got the Ace Beam Defender P17 Dual Tail Switch Tactical Flashlight. Do not confuse this with a civilian flashlight. This is a tactical flashlight. Ooh, it's big, though. Remove dustproof film from lens. Okay. I can do that. Simple enough. I can follow those instructions. Boy, it feels heavy. It feels like it's got battery charging indicator. So this thing already has a... Oh, it's already got a battery built into it. I don't want to get blinded.
Let's see, ensure battery is inserted correctly, okay. Okay, they got a little, they got the little preventative discharge tab in there. Ooh, look at this. This is an Ace Beam branded battery. It's 5100 milliamp job. And it does have the little micro, the little micro USB charging port there on the battery itself. So you can, so you can plug this up and, but can you charge it from the, can you charge it without taking it out? No, I don't like you can. We have to charge the battery, taking it out. And it does have a little light, a little LED light that will light up. And they want you to make sure you put it in correctly, which I can follow instructions sometimes. So now let's see if it works. Oh, it automatically come on. All right, because I had it turned on. Okay, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy crap. Okay, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Because you guys know I love my little copper light here that's super, super bright. Like, that's bright. That's pretty bright, right? Okay, there's one. Let's see. Two. So that's, that's brighter. Like that right there, is, that setting is brighter than this one. And this one's pretty bright. But that's not the only thing we got. We got this setting. Then we have that saying, holy crap, that is bright. Then we got that saying, dude, that is like, that is so bright, it's not even funny. I mean, holy smokes. God, that is bright. That thing is going to get super hot, super fat. That is super bright. I mean, look at that. And like I said, you guys know what's up, man. I got five lights right here. I got two big LED panels right here. And look at how bright that is. Whoo, that is bright. Like, that is... God, that is blindingly bright. Wow. Wow. Okay. And yeah, you put that thing on high, that LED emitter gets hot because that thing is sucking down some power. I'll tell you, let's go ahead and read about the Frontline Medical Defense since I started reading stuff anyway. Uh, okay, that's on the, the little medical kit here. And I'm sorry for doing this out of order. This video is already off the rails. We don't know what we're doing here. Uh, this is a Take Anywhere Adventure mini EDC medical kit designed for those constantly on the move. Whether it's used as a backpacking first aid kit, EDC medical kit, this kit is packed with everything you need to handle common injuries. The, it's minimalist design allows for easy storage in your backpack, pocket, glove box, or fishing gear, making it the go-to choice for any adventure. Local firefighter-owned business. I knew Dave. I knew Dave was a firefighter, man. I could feel it. Okay. So yeah, go go there. Go there to frontlinemedicaldefense.com. See Dave. Cuz he's a firefighter, man. He knows he knows he knows what's up. Okay, so let's see. Where's this light? Where's this light? Whoa! Holy crap. Okay, we we're, we're going to read about the light in a minute because we're going when we get into the prices of all this stuff. Okay, so so we got two two knives, right? And you would have got a knife in either box. If you got the standard at 60 bucks or the premium at 200 bucks, you would have got a knife in either one. So let's do the standard box. That's the SRM Knife and Tool Mecca 9225. What's up, Gizmo? What you want? What you coming out here messing with me for? I don't have no treats. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and just take this thing out and see what, see what we're working with here from SRM Knife and Tool. Okay. Gave us a nice little bag and a really weird feeling. It's almost like that this is a... Like this is a poly bag. That's, that's weird. Okay. Alright, here's a little knife from SRM. It's got a carbon look to it. Let's see what they say about it here. It says it's D2 steel. Okay. Okay. Obviously we got some, some fake some fake carbon. We got some carbon looking stuff, which is which is which is fine. It has a cool little clip on it. And this is one that that let's see. Front flipper mechanism ambi uh it's got an ambi lock. Okay. So they they do mean you to flip this out, right? 
Well, I'm not going to do that. Let's see. I'm just going to flip it out like that. Flip it out with the lock. I don't know how good, you know, I mean, you can get it out like that with the, with the flipper tab, but what's crazy about it is the flipper tab, you see where the flipper tab is? Well, the flipper tab goes out straight. So when you're holding the knife in your hand like this, you have to, if you got big fingers and you can reach around and you can grab it, which I can't do it because my fingers are real small, but yeah, you can do that and flip it out. But for me, ones that have these, these uh, locks like this, I just do that. You can do that to open it close it it's very smooth action the action is very very smooth very nice very good action i like the action okay you guys tell me what you think we got a we got a pocket clip on here a very a very shallow pocket clip that looks like it was maybe from another knife because it's like a, a blue it has like a blue a bluey kind of anodized look that doesn't fit the black in in the black darker tones of this knife so maybe that was a, a maybe that was a pro a, a a clip maybe from another knife maybe and they just put it on this knife because it looks very out of place hopefully that that translates well because it, it just it looks really out of place on this knife but it's, it's very light it doesn't weigh that much does it tell me how much it weighs does it tell me how much it weighs anywhere no it just says what it is okay fine fair enough all right we do have some some skeletonizing in both of the frame rails which you know makes it look cool and it, it's cool because it does have some some to the skeletonized bits on the blade itself we do have kind of a compound here at the top and on the top of the spine where it tapers off to the tip a night it has a nice grind on it and we do have some jimping that you can barely feel that is the flipper tab right here when it goes you can see when when the blade goes oh well when you see when the blade goes up and, and locks in it has a, a an inset right here that that flipper tab go seats it doesn't seat into it but it, it goes into it so you know you can't it's way back like this is one where the jimping is back into the frame not really a fan of that i like it when it's a little more spread out evenly where, where you get like half of the frame and half of the of the of the spine i like that like i like the jimping to be right there not back here but i will say this i like the even though this is irregular you know we have a, a pad here for your two fingers and then the rest of your fingers can go out here so it's 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 a angle like this and then it has a little bump and then it kind of straightens off and then you have this this little stop right here which i, I like which that's a lot going on believe it or not this this is a lot going on in a very very small a smaller knife where it's almost like whoever designed this knife was was really wanting to cover a lot of bases and this is really what you wound up with which they to me they could have went with a traditional lock because you see how the the knife is shaped like its shape you know where we have it less pronounced here and then we have so much meat up here by the by the pivot so but yeah not a bad knife and it's d2 steel so i mean you can't really complain it does have a really good point on it so it would be it would be a good it would be a good all-around pocket knife how about that it's, it's this would be an all you know all-around good pocket knife like i said it does have a shallow clip here and we do have a lashing hole a lashing hole down at the tail so yeah you know I think it would be a good little knife. You know, as far as frame standoffs, you know, there is a there is a solid piece from the tail. That piece from the tail kind of goes all the way up behind your lock, and it does have two studs. It has two studs that are that are that are in to pillar it, and then you have another stud floating on the back. So we have three studs from here, here, and here that really give you some rigidity within the frame itself. So this this I would say this would probably be a really good knife, you know. And I'm I'm a fan of, of of these types because this this knife that I've showed you guys before that I bent the living stew out of the pocket clip has the same locking mechanism, and I always just do that. Even though this one does have a thumb stud that you can deploy it that way, I just always you know when I carried this knife, I would just do that. So, but yeah, I like this knife. 
the more I sit here and mess with it, the more I like it. I just wish it had a different pocket clip, which is a very small thing. You can, you can pull that pocket clip off. It's not reversible. It's only going to be on this side. So, but still, this this would be a, this is. I think this is a decent little pocket knife, man. I like it. I like it. I'm not gonna. What what, what they say? How much it how much it is? Fifty two ninety five. So you guys tell me in the comment section down below. Did you like that knife? You know, for a, just a everyday use type pocket knife, in fifty two bucks. Is that your range? You know, and that's that's another thing too. There's people that spend tons of money on a pocket knife, like ridiculous amounts of money for a small knife, or you know, are, are you in the camp of, of you know, spending sort of mid-tier? And then, oh, well, you know, I'll keep the knife for a year or two, maybe even three, or maybe a little bit longer. And I'll just replace it and, you know, buy a new knife if something else kind of catches my fancy. You know, or if you're like me and, and you like, you know, going from different blade shapes, like, uh, let's see. This is the knife I carry right now, and I don't want nobody to judge me because the blade is super dirty because I open a lot of boxes with it. But this is the blade I currently carry, and I've been carrying this blade for about two months, which is funny that I just noticed. This is, this is an SRM blade. So this is the same company that makes that knife. And yeah, I'm really happy with this knife. I really do love this knife. But sometimes you want to trade it up for something like this because uh, I do like the cleaver style blades for knives so you know this is this would be another good one to carry in your pocket okay i diverted that enough all right so let's go to the cancept corvid okay now this is getting into the premium box the premium box the separation between the standard and the premium box would have been the flashlight and this knife right here okay and it does have a a really cool box so we're going to try to do a cool presentation let's see if we can do a, a nice presentation here okay let's see okay okay well that fell I thought I thought it was gonna be some cool because you know they're trying to most a lot of these companies are trying to be very Apple like you know with how they package how they do their packaging and and stuff like that so okay so the knife comes in this little very very thick very very thick canvas type you know holder I would say holder but it has a it has a naked back there's there's no so you couldn't use this as like a little belt pouch or, or anything like that for the knife so this would just be something for storage okay whoa boy this is a this is a boy this this is a stubby little dude right here this is this is a stubby little guy right here look at this little thing Boy, that's a that's gonna be a monster blade. But look at this stubby little dude. Look at this. That thing is whoo, that thing is super wide. God dog. And look at look at that jimping. Look at that jimping. Hopefully that jimping comes through. That jimping right here. That that's like that's four wheel drive mud bogging jimping right there. I mean, dude, that's mud that that is the kind of jimping that you could Man, you can go through a mud pit with that kind of jimping. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh. And we do have a liner lock. But yes. God, that, that, that is smooth. That is so... It's, it, even, it, it, it still it needs a little oil. But it's still... Even with, not, even with needing oil, it still it deploys so good. Look at that thing. Look at that. Is, it's crazy that I got this knife up here. Look at the difference, man! This go, whew, good lord! That that's a that's a that's that's a that's a that's a big blade. Oh, I could make some some jokes. I mean, that's that that's not long, but she's fat. Uh, you know, that's what she said. But what's cool about this, you know, like I said, you do have this really crazy crazy mud bog and jumping up here but you also i don't know if you guys can see this or not hopefully you can we have a little depression right here so we do have another thumb pad right here and see i want to put my i want to put my index finger right there and i can but that blade is chip boy i think i think that would bite into my finger though but yeah right there so you do have a thumb pad right there which is really really nice but the thing i don't like you see this separation between the deployer gizmo 
calm down, son. Calm down. So in between the deployer and the blade, you have this, you have this cutout here. But the problem is the blade kind of tucks back a little bit. So if I put my finger in there, which I don't know if they're, I don't, I don't even know if they're, they probably don't mean for you to try to stick your finger in there. I would because I got small fingers. But yeah, this right here into this padding is very natural. Even going out here on this is, is not bad. But yeah, got a got a really cool sort of text uh, contoured uh, pocket clip. But yeah, that's 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 interesting. It's very different. I do not have a knife that looks nothing nothing like this. It even has a channel cutting both sides of the of the top of the spine up here. We got a we got a channel up here on both sides. So yeah, very interesting. This is a very interesting little knife. Let's see what they say about this. The Corvid M, uh, designed by Justin Koch. K-O-C-H, I hope that's correct. Uh, it's a medium-sized folding cleaver knife. 2.45-inch blade is made from uh, durable 154-CM steel. We're rocking on this, ensuring toughness and excellent edge retention. The knife features a comfortable brown micarta handle for secure grip, while the smooth action and the uh, black-coated uh, blade, named after the family of birds and raven and crows, uh, belong to. Okay, so I guess that's the... Uh, the Corvid, K-O-R-V-I-D, I'm assuming. I'm not, a, I'm not a bird expert, so yeah. But yeah, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think about this. You know, it does have a lashing hole in the back, and it is a small little cleaver, which is interesting because I was just talking about how much I really do like little cleavers like this. But man, that's a, whew, that's, that's a big cleaver right there. So yeah, okay, so we got this knife. All right, so let's go over the prices real quick. So I'm going to tell you, this is, this is a good box. This is a good box. Okay, standard box. You would have got the SRM knife, which I, I, I think is going to be a really solid pocket knife, $52.95 for that. You would have also got the little frontline uh, medical kit here from Dave, Firefighter. Firefighter Dave would have got us this, $21.99. Uh, $21.99. Yeah, I, I would say that's, that's, that's fair for it being vacuum sealed, being resealable and all that. It just increases the, the functionality of, of the packaging and, and, and overall it enhances what you get out of the interior products because if you just have a regular pack, you open it, you know, it, it is, you know, vulnerable to the moisture, water, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, then we got the Infinity Cuts and Creations 5x5 wooden tray. That is definitely not a coaster. It is $14.95. Really cool. I really like that. I like it because it's done locally where this company is in Georgia. So they got a local, they got some local people doing the design work for them. So that's, that's, that's awesome. Can't, that, that's, that's home run. Love it. Okay, so then we got the Corvid M, $69.95. I would have, okay. So this knife is really on par with the SRM knife at $52.95. Not a whole lot of separation between these two knives. Not about, you know, 10, 15 bucks. So yeah, two very good price knives. Really do like it. Love it. It's awesome. Okay, now... The Ace Beam. So if you're wanting to recreate the sun in your living room or wherever in your campsite, if you're wanting to recreate sunlight, you got it right here in this thing. It says, Ace Beam is known for making high-quality flashlights, which is why I really wanted to open this because I do know Ace Beam does make really good flashlights. And the P17 is no exception. It's on the larger side for EDC, which I will say, I will agree, this is a larger flashlight for EDC. Something like this would be kind of more appropriate for EDC in, in a lot of people's mind, but that's for the comment section down below. Get down there and sound off. Let me know what you think about a flashlight being this big for EDC, because it is big. And, you know, outside of a charging cable, that's all we got. So you're on your own and finding where you're going to, you know, store this or, you know, but it does have a clip. I will say this, it does have a clip right here. So you can hang it both ways. It's, it's a clip. And then it has a turn back, so you can you can run it like this, or you know you can very very you know difficultly you can pull it out like that, and you can go down like that. Okay, so this thing has a Cree X HP seventy point three LED with a maximum lumen output of forty nine hundred, woo, and around fourteen hundred and fifty nine feet of beam through. That is insane. Okay, and it's got the rechargeable battery. 119 bucks. 
Whew, that's that's there you go. I'm gonna say this box was a this box was a home run. I love it. I love this box. Hit the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. If you have any experience with this stuff, or if you really like this box. We were in this box for 200 bucks. I think we did A-OK. -okay. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're interested in this particular service. I will have a link to them in the description box of this video. Hope everybody's doing well on this Memorial Day weekend. Today's Sunday. Hopefully you're, you know, having a good time and, and, uh, and all that good stuff. And don't do nothing crazy. Don't do nothing to get you put it and get you locked up or anything. And uh, with that, guys, hope you're doing well, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.